That's about 300 million homes that Santa's got to visit all around the world in one night. Presumably, to minimize his chances of being spotted, he's going to try and make his whole trip under the cover of darkness. Santa has got one uh, trick up his sleeve because he can use the fact that the world is turning to his advantage. Let's assume he's going to start in the east, so probably all the way in eastern Russia. Almost by the dateline. And he's going to travel westward. He's moving with the night. Which can add on an additional 24 hours to his total time. So that gives him a total of 32 hours to make it all the way around the world and deliver presents. aren't just sort of equally distributed around the world. We live in cities and towns and we're sort of clustered. But then other places, folks that sort of live out in the country, Santa's got to travel some distance to go from house to house. You know, fishes and whales, they don't get any gifts from Santa. We can use a mathematical problem called the traveling salesman problem. It's exactly the same setup. It's a, a salesman that's traveling around different houses and wants to do so as efficiently as possible. quite a lot slower than the speed of light, but substantially more than the speed of sound. If he's traveling at supersonic speed, where is the sonic boom? Like that would wake up all the kids and they'd like stop Santa in his tracks. NASA themselves have said that it, that it may well be possible to build a jet that can get up to supersonic speeds without making a boom. I mean, if NASA can do it, well, Santa can, surely. Santa could have a NASA-style heat shield that protects all of the reindeer from those aerodynamic forces. You just don't know what sort of amazing objects he's using to, to pull off these kinds of speeds. Mm -hmm.